Okay, my name is Annie Chen. I'm one third of Jaded. I am a teaching artist here in Pittsburgh and a craft artist. My name is Lena Chen and I'm a Chinese American artist. My practice focuses on performance and socially engaged art. And I typically examine topics related to sexuality, labor, and race. So my name is Caroline, I'm an artist, I'm also a performer, I'm a community builder. Our vision is really about accepting everyone, no matter how they interact with their Asian identity, with their Asian heritage. It's about us seeing each other, us being there for each other in whatever way we need to be. I see Jaded's role as being a platform for creating opportunities to gather together, to discuss our shared experiences, to manifest our artistic visions, to support one another. And there is something really special about being in a space where other people share certain aspects of your background and identity. Jaded was really formed out of a desire to address the need for healing within AAPI communities in the aftermath of uh, the violence that we've experienced as a result of xenophobic political rhetoric, as a result of uh, misconceptions about COVID. And I see this as a project that has emerged quite naturally from friendships amongst the founding members, myself, Caroline, and Annie, and with our extended community. You know, yes, we're all artists. Yes, we share certain political aims. But at the core of it, we also really care for each other. We enjoy good food. We love being able to spend time together in a meaningful way. And Jaded is really a way to bring together all of those interests and to create spaces for others to have experiences like that as well with the people they care about. After the shootings in Atlanta, we came together to create an event that would be a space for healing. Since then, we've sort of all grown together as artists to really think about what is needed for the Pittsburgh AAPI community. My favorite thing about Jaded is that we get to create spaces where we can come and like learn how to how to do things, how to share traditions like kimchi making and book binding and we get to discover Pittsburgh's history of its own Chinatown and the mayor of Chinatown and it's just a really great way to shine a light on what exists in Pittsburgh but we didn't know it was already there. We have met so many people through this experience at Jaded. So many educators, creatives, people who have businesses who want to support us, who want to help us, who believe in our vision, who believe in the need for an AAPI-oriented space. And the future for Jaded is really anything, right? It's really about what we need. It's about what our community needs, and it's about how do we uplift each other. One thing really unique that we can manifest would be a physical space for gathering. I think more than anything else, that's the vision I hope to realize. Having a space means that, you know, you can support so many different types of programming and also, I think, serve as a place to, to store memories, to act as an, an archive. And I think that's so very important to pass down knowledge throughout different generations to have that physical site. So I really hope it's possible. I would love, you know, for us in five years from now to be running our own exhibition space or programming space um, and to act as a kind of incubator for uh, people's dreams. We have met so many wonderful people who want to be involved and who can step into leadership. And so we're really hoping to pass on that torch to, to maybe even you.